cassava bread and fry fish. Solar style. Yes, Wakanda style. It's the Electro Demo Channel. what's going on guys welcome back to the electro demo channel thank you so much for clicking again we are going to talk some more about this new phenomena the wakanda movement but the wakanda movement is not only about a city some people didn't get it with the last comments however we are all going to talk more about the city the uh, seaport city the city in Banff. Um, it is actually being constructed as we speak. A lot of people don't understand the whole concept. You know, I'm, I'm going to just give you one hint before the video comes out. It's a seaport city and it's not sponsored by the, well, majority by the money from the government. So, so hang in there with all the people who are saying, hey, wait a minute, wait a minute. We need to take care of Freetown first. I, 100% agree with that. Watch that video. It's going to make sense. We're not saying that well, we're not going to take care of <laughs> Freetown first. In fact, that's why we're building this new city. All right. But guess what? We're going to talk about the, the uh, other aspect of Wakanda that is utilizing what we have in Sierra Leone, what we have in West Africa. So let's go. Okay, so there are two basic types of um, solar cookers. We have this one here, which is the parabolic because of its shape. Um, these are the ones that get the hottest. They have the ability to concentrate the sun um, to over 700 degrees. Uh, it could burn wood extremely fast, as you see in this video. If you look at this image, uh, this this uh, image here shows you how it works. It takes all the sun and concentrates it, and that's why we get um, this image right here. The other type is what they call the box uh, solar cooker or solar oven. Um, it, um, it doesn't get as hot, but it's, it keeps the heat um, when there's a cloud, so you don't have to worry about tracking it. I wanted to the disadvantage of this type of unit, you always have to track the um, sun. There's another type, which is kind of like a hybrid between the parabolic and the oven, and um, it's called the uh, vacuum type. Um, we'll talk about those. It has a uh, vacuum tube and it keeps the heat, and the vacuum tends to uh, keep the heat from escaping the food. All right, so we are going to uh, first... Uh, fry some eggs. We then fry some fish. We do the cassava bread and then the popcorn. So here we're going to start with the eggs. We're going to fry two eggs. 100% solar power. <laughs> Now these parabolic solar cookers get extremely hot, hotter than your electric stove, hotter than even your gas cooker. They go north of 700, 700 degrees in seconds, as long as you have a sunlight. And of course, the irony is, yes, if you have a cloud and it goes right back down to, to zero or room temperature. 
but these things do get hot. Sierra Leone Energy Half past one sun That hits us in the face every day Now we are utilizing it Turn it over now. I, I think you can, yeah. You can see, it doesn't take that long. Doesn't take that long. At least for my eggs that I like to eat. It's like you can do it regularly. <laughs> it's like you just cook with the stove. <laughs> Eating from the second one. <laughs> Damage already done a long way. Here's what you've been waiting for. Casada bread. Now, guys, I'm not an expert. I cheated. I used Gary to make my casada bread. I'm gonna try to flip it without it breaking to different pieces. And bear with me. I only had one hand, that's why the camera is shaking. So I apologize for the shaking of the camera. All right, guys, got it in. Let's see if I can flip this bad boy. Now that's what I'm talking about. Solar powered cassava bread. Live here on the Electro Demo channel. You're not gonna see that anywhere else. <laughs> so now the other part that you're gonna be wanting to see is fry fish with solar. Hundred percent free energy. Half past one sun that hits us in the face all the time. We always say the place warm. That means the place hot. One hundred percent frying fish all by solar. And of course, this is the stew. Um, that's onions, pepper, and tomato ground up. Just love that sound. And again, I apologize for the shaking, but that is 100% stew frying under free energy. Okay, what I'm going to do now, I'm going to adjust the parabolic solar cooker a little bit so the sun's focus is right underneath the pot. You do have to do this about every 15 minutes with this type of cooker. Well, we've already cooked the fancy food, wing it up, wrapping it up as soon as I get the stew out. Then we are going to taste our solar cooking. Oh, I almost forgot about the popcorn. Yeah. Whenever you have a solar system, you're going to have audience, as you can see with my background. Move your body. Got to love it. Keep boot coming in the way, buddy. Just gotta love it. Don't go to the camera. <laughs> <laughs> it's a minute, wait a okay, it's finished, huh? Hey, it's finished. I think so, yeah. It's the taste test. This is what we've been waiting for, at least I've been waiting for. Got my solar powered scrambled eggs. I have my 
cassada, solar powered cassada bread, my fried fish, and my sauce. Then last but not least, my little dessert, popcorn. Everything on this table is solar powered. First we're gonna fry the eggs. Taste well done. Tastes like tastes like really good scrambled eggs. We we'll take some more. Okay. Mm. Mm. All right. I'm gonna we'll try the the cassada. The way I take my cassada. The cassada bread. Ah, eh, forget about it. We're gonna go old school. The cassada bread. A piece of the. The uh, fry fish, you get the sauce. Mm. <laughs> this is what's up. Mm, I, this is what's up, man. Oh, this, this, this is good. All right. All right, guys. Thank you so much for watching Electro Demo Solar Powered Casada Bread and Fry Fish. Uh, if you are new, join this movement. Um, if you've already been watching me, thank you again so much. I will see you guys later. Mm -hmm.